So here we have Pisae abies, commonly known as Norway spruce, in the Panaceae family. So when you hear the scientific name Pisae abies, you might be wondering, we have Pisae, which is typically the genus for the spruce, and abies, which is typically the genus for the true firs. So which one is it? Well, this is indeed a true spruce, and we'll talk about some of the characteristics that make this a spruce in just a moment. The species name abies comes from the fact that the needles are just a little bit abies-like, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. So Pisces abies was introduced from Europe. Um, it's often planted as an ornamental here in the United States. In general, it grows anywhere from about 80 to 100 feet tall. The bark of your Pisae abies is typically red-brown and scaly, and it will later turn gray and then flake off in these scales or plates. So each of these will break off the tree. The twigs are slender to medium size, so they're not quite as stout as something like a Pisae pungens, but they're perhaps slightly more stout than your Pisae angelmanii. The twigs lack hair on them, and they are shiny orangish brown, and you'll see that the needles are borne on woody pegs called sterigma. And that's one of the key characteristics of our spruce, or our Pisae, is these woody sterigma or these woody pegs. Also characteristic of the spruce, if I grab a hold of the needles of the Pisae abies, they're really prickly. So you don't really want to shake hands with a, a Pisae or a true spruce. Unlike your Pseudosuga menziaceae, which has really nice soft needles. So these needles, if we take one single needle, are four angled, but they're very slightly flattened. And that's what gives it the species name of abies. So if you think of your abies or your true firs, they have those very flattened linear needles. So these are technically four angled, but they, they feel flattened and they don't roll quite as easily in your fingers as do some of our other Pisces. Each one of those needles are pointed and fairly stiff, and they're about an inch in length. So about a half inch to maybe an inch in length, four angled, shiny and deep green with that sharp point at the tip. And then as I mentioned, each needle is born on a woody peg known as a sterigma. So another key feature is the cones. So the cones of the Pisae abies are the largest of any spruce. Um, they're cylindr cylindrical anywhere from four to six inches in length. And they have these stiff, very thin scales that are a little bit irregularly toothed. They're unarmed, which again is a characteristic of your Pisces or your true spruce. This cone <clears throat> is what you'd see before it opens and is eaten by something like a squirrel. In fact, we have some squirrels yelling at us from the trees right now because they're probably worried I might try to eat this. So the remnant looks a little bit like your corn on the cob. So if you were to eat off all these scales, this is what you would be left with. So if you see something like this when you're out hiking, just think happy squirrels or happy small mammals. A couple of interesting things to note about your Pisae abies. Um, this is a softwood timber and it's been used quite a bit in paper production. Um, it's also a very important tone wood. In fact, it was used by the famous Stradivarius to make stringed instruments. So things like violins often used Pisae abies or the Norway spruce as the tone wood. So spruce shoots are often used as medicine or boiled into teas. You can make syrup or tea out of these. I, I recommend using the young spring shoots and not when they're <laughs> stiff and mature like this. Um, but they're used for everything from respiratory to gastrointestinal ailments. And in fact, at one time, spruce beer was used to treat scurvy. So it's very high in vitamin C and you can make a really great tea out of this from the young, soft and tender spring shoots. These trees are also very popular as a Christmas tree, especially in Europe. And in fact, the famous Christmas tree in Trafalgar Square each year is typically a gift from Norway of a Pisae abies. <laughs>